Rodney McLeod, Eagle Safety, joins me. Rodney, uh, good to see you, my man. Um, I'm going to give you an opportunity to play NFL commissioner for just a moment. Uh, if you were the commissioner, and this is all fun, how would you how would you kind of structure training camp moving forward? Ooh, if I was a commissioner and moving forward as far as training camp goes, all right, I would <laughs> I would definitely have no preseason games. I, li I like that aspect uh, of it. I mean, I think everything else. I think everything else is cool. Uh, honestly, I. I think this can uh, potentially spark something in the next few years for us to consider, uh, for Roger Goodell to consider, man, no preseason games, just have guys report, you know, late July, and, and, and we just work and grind, and, and we have a month to, to get prepared, or a little, like six weeks, I guess, to get prepared, right? Why that surprises me is because you made the league as an undrafted rookie, and so without preseason games, I mean, can you kind of feel a bit of – understanding for these young guys who don't have those games to show themselves to the rest of the league? I do. Uh, and I've, I've explained to them uh, a lot of undrafted guys on this team, particularly in my group. This is an abnormal year, um, a year where I don't even know how they're evaluating you. But uh, what's most important is that you take every practice rep and walk through rep very serious. And I think they quickly got a, a glimpse of that in the special teams meeting. And so I'm rooting for everyone. It is difficult uh, because, like you said, that is how I made the team. And your film is your resume, right? And so now 31 other teams don't have the luxury of being able to see you play, you know, under the lights because that's when it matters the most, right? We talk about practice. It's important. We spend most of our time at practice. But when those lights come on, they want to see you perform at your best and see what you got. So I'm rooting for all of them. Uh, I think I may have to go back and talk about that one. Maybe we need a couple preseason games. <laughs> All right. I got, you, I got you to change already. You're easy. All right. You're still a commissioner of the league. Would you make game day Sunday only, or would you like to maybe even expand uh, game days? I like Saturdays. Uh, that, that brings me back to college, man. I like Saturdays, and, of course, yeah, Sundays as well. Maybe scratch the Thursdays and keep it Saturday, Sunday, and Monday nights. Okay. I like that. All right. Now, now, I don't know how much it's changed in the nine years you've been in the league. These days, all you can do with rookies is they sing and they bring you chicken and they kind of carry your equipment off the field. Yeah, and some readers hey. every once in a while. A, has it changed in the nine years you've been in the league? And B, if you were commissioner, how would you structure that part of the game? I would say in my nine years, it's kind of stayed – the same within, yeah, within this box, you, you, you know, you have the guys go up there and sing. I think I just missed the, the the other wave where guys were getting thrown in the cold tubs. But I think at the same time, you, you still have your, your Popeye's runs on, on uh, Saturdays when you're traveling. They have to provide snacks and, and all uh, jokes and things like that. So we, we keep the culture alive. We're, we're keeping it alive. Rodney, you're now no longer the commissioner. Just I want to hear about you. Do you feel, honestly, seriously, in nine years, I mean, your career speaks for itself, five years in Philadelphia. Do you feel you've been a bit underrated, or does that not matter to you? No, I, I do feel uh, as if I have been underrated in a few years in the league, but it motivates me, honestly, to continue to push. There's goals that I still have yet to achieve. That's what keeps me going, honestly, man. That's what keeps this determination to really gain that respect from everyone because until then I don't think I, I've done my job just as good. Why do you think you've made it and other guys who are bigger faster stronger have not made it? It's literally just heart you know and, and I feel like no man can outwork me. I may not like you said be the biggest be the strongest be the be the fastest but my heart man is is what keeps me going and keeps me alive and um, that's something that you can't teach or coach that's something that you're just born with and um, I believe that's, that's credit to my success. This is year five for you in Philadelphia, Rodney. What has being an Eagle meant for that time? What has being in Philadelphia as you've developed as a man, as a husband? What's it meant to you being five years here? It's been special. Uh, you know, I came here in 2016 with nervousness, uh, anxiety, uh, happiness, every, every emotion that you can possibly have. But the one thing that you don't know is what is the future going to entail? And it was everything that I dreamed of it to be. Winning the Super Bowl my second year here, bringing the first one to Philadelphia, 
now turning this into my second home, I, I guess you would say in the way the city has embraced me, myself and my family. I'm now married. Uh, so it's been life changing and I I'm hoping to do a lot more. I'm hoping to, you know, leave my mark and a legacy here in Philadelphia. What is Philadelphia like as a football town? How would you describe it? Man, the best, the best ever. The way these fans rally behind us each and every Sunday. And at the end of the day, man, they put a lot of pressure on us for a reason. They want to see us do well. And my whole theory is when they stop talking about you, you should worry. That's exactly <laughs> but as long right. as they're saying something about you, whether good or bad, you just got to take it. But it keeps you on your toes, man. It, it, uh, it makes you want to show up each and every Sunday, perform at a high level. Last one for you, Rodney. How, how good can this defense be? Do you think this defense right now is ready to go play? We are ready, and this is going to be a special group. And I say that just the way that we're meshing, man, in such the short span of time, because of 2020 and what it's, it hasn't allowed us to do, uh, for us to come together and, and the way that we're playing, moving around on the field, communicating, most importantly, making plays. Rodney McLeod, perhaps future NFL commissioner, think about things in the future here. Let's maybe make a campaign get you to replace Roger Goodell someday. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great training camp. See you on the regular season field. Appreciate it, Dave.